All right, so, so we lost the dice roll. That's a good start, right? Yeah. Um, I imagine we will be Drawing. playing. Yeah, we'll probably be playing second in that case. I think most people tend to choose to play first. Um, so just waiting on our opponent. And so... they are playing first. This looks reasonable to me. We only have one. Word? We only have a single mountain, but most of our lands are mountains, especially now because we We've have got five islands. islands and nine mountains left in our deck. We've got. Is that right? Three draws Something like to that. hit the second mountain, that should be fine. I think so, and we always have a Perforos' Emissary and a Grip Tide, but we can still cast without any So let's well, not mulligan. So we're not going to mulligan this. No. <coughs> they have mulligan to six already, so that makes me feel even better about this. Yeah. They've kept six. They've kept six. Yep. And mountain. Okay. That's it. Oh, there's our, there's our second mountain. Okay, let's play a mountain and send it right back to them. Yep, we have nothing to do. Which is fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, let's see what their second colour is. Assuming they're in one. Mm -hmm. Oh, red. I mean, red, okay. Maybe they're going for a two headed Cerberus as well. Oh, an ordeal of so Thassa. So we have an ordeal of Thassa. Which to... we could put on this, but I don't think we do it as soon as we get to turn four, because we can also play a borderland Minotaur. Yeah. And I think increasing our board presence is better than putting all our eggs onto that one Cerberus. Putting putting an ordeal on this guy is sweet, but... Um, you want to have lots of things now for them to do with so red, go. white. Is it two-headed Cerberus? No, no. it is Flame Speaker Adept. That guy's all right. This is okay. It's... um. Yeah, because most a lot of the ra sort of just random instants in this set of Scry One, so his guy just randomly turns into a four three sometimes. Like, okay. Oh, a steam offering. So cool. let's play a two headed Cerberus and pass the turn back to them. I, I don't think I'm going to be blocking this very no. often because I think a lot of the time it's just going to kill whatever it gets blocked by. Yeah. Like, we'll block it and they'll go, here's something that lets me scry one. Now your guy dies to my first strike. So, like, this this card is good, actually. It's pretty good. I remember killing people with it. Ooh, three Ooh, three colors. Hey, well, okay, this is a combo right here. Luckily, we have this grip tied. So, okay, so, um, so whenever they attack, they get to scry one. And whenever they do that, they go up in So, power. it's a 4 3 unblockable every turn. Basically. But pretty soon, it's going to be a 2 3 on top of their deck. Which is which is fine. Yeah. I think we do it next turn while their blues tapped out. They put it on bottom of the library. Yep. They can have. Or do we wait until they leave it on top? Um. I think just. Do it. I'm not sure. Do we just do this straight away? I'm not sure. It's Blair Island. So we've got a lot of plays we can make this time. We can make a borderland minotaur or an emissary, but I think that'll always think make this instead. We save the emissary for later. Or we could steam augury, but um, I don't think that's what's happening. It's either grip tide or minotaur. I think this turn. We can take four damage for another turn. I I'm gonna, think I'm gonna we first. do the minotaur. Rawr, says the two-headed doggy. Um, I'm guessing he's yep. just going to take two. Yep. All right. And so now... are we going to grip tide it now? I think play the Minotaur, we can take four yeah. damage for another oh, turn. Oh yeah, I'm happy taking another four damage, so... And then we've got four damage coming yeah. back at him. And I mean, there's always this possibility he puts another aura on it, but in some ways that's kind of good for us, because it means that this Griptide does even more. If he has a second Aqueous form, that's yeah. quite nasty. What have we got? You say quite nasty, it's just... Oh. Okay, so it's got lifelink now. That is a bit of a problem. It's. I think we grip tied next N time. Next time we will be grip tiding, although I'll be doing it after we attack, so he's just left with a 1 1 sitting there. Yes. Um, so this is going to deal 5, and he's going to go back up to 23. That's okay, fine. Okay, yeah. It's fine. I can, I we can, can deal, be okay we with, can this. Deal with yeah. that. Like, I think we're still okay because we have this grip tied, and he's only got two cards left in hand at the moment. Um, I think we do it now though because he's only got a red left up. That's true actually, I think the yeah, we don't really want him to So let's attack with both. Plan island. Or do oh no we need the mana for grip tied. So we're gonna swing with both, yeah? Swing with both. Yeah, cool. I'm not I'm not bothered about him swinging back with a one one life link because oh, we're no. doing damage to him. I'm not sure, I think maybe we grip tied him when he attacks. No, grip tied it now because if he's got a counter spell or God's willing then so we no we grip we grip tied now. He's got God's willing. Zacchaeus one falls off. No, just grip tied okay, now. Fine. I think yeah. grip tied now. I, I think that's probably right actually. Because that means he's drawing his flame speaker add up next turn. Yeah, true. As well. So have a hopeful idol on sitting there. 
Oh. Cool. Yeah, this this I like it as an aura, but once it falls off, it does it, almost nothing. It's just like, oh no, I got one more with life link. Yeah. Oh, is it the flame speaker adept? Yep. Wow, was not expecting that. Okay. Let's take one. Yep. We're on ten. He goes back up to eighteen. I'm not too worried about our, our prospects here. Ooh, okay, see that's around. he has one card in hand. Um, I'm slightly tempted here. What we could do is cast with Steam Augury, try and get a land which would then let us play an ordeal of Fasa before we attack. Yes, that seems Although, good. Although, hmm, he can potentially make this do something. Are we going to attack and make him potentially use up a card? His card hit. Chances are I don't he's think... got a land though. Yeah, like he's only got one card. Unless that card has scry one and is an instant, I think we're okay here. So, so on the Cerberus. Are we going to augury and then ordeal, or do we just play ordeal? I think we just ordeal. I don't know. I think with this, we're almost guaranteed to get a land. But they choose the pile. But he doesn't know we need the land. I mean, just we can just wait it so he's almost definitely going to give us land. Or we just get a bunch of awesome spells. <laughs> and leave something back. Okay, and we just, just leave this back to block and attack with Borderland Minotaur. Let's, let's, come on, let's, so okay, let's pre, leave up a blue. Pre -com oh, yeah. Oh, no, we need to yep. leave up a blue. Yeah, pre combat Steam Augury, here we go. Alright, so, so we have. We can put a mountain in each pile. That's fine. So I think we either put. We put these two in one pile and this in the other pile. Because we want the Be Naiad. Well, this basically gives them a choice of we get the Naiad and the land, or we get. Crackling Triton, Bronze Sable. The bronze and the Sable is. The Sable, yeah. Doesn't do much. Yeah, this is basically a choice between the Triton and the Naiad, and I think he's more likely to give us this pile personally. So we'll just write an extra Sable. Hmm? So yeah, let's have a bonus Sable. So I think I think this. Yeah. Is, I guess it's okay. Also, the Sable's really cute. <laughs> okay, let's see what, he, see what he's got. Come on. And like I said, we're always getting the land, so we yeah, know we can cast our ordeal faster. So what are we getting? Uh, we, we got, got yeah, got like that. we predicted. I'll play that mountain and on the ordeal two, on the two headed Cerberus. On the two headed Cerberus. Cerberus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm... if he's got a scry trick, it will trade with either of them. So it we... won't trade with this, it'll just kill it. it would... No, it will just kill the Borderland Minotaur as well, because wow. it will get first strike. Yeah, so, so I think we're just going to have to do this and hope he's not got anything. He's only got yeah. one card, let's just try it. We we still have these, you All know, these. five cards in hand. So we are just going to go for it. Yes. And I'm not too worried about him swinging back and killing us next time. We're on ten still. Ten's okay. So we can start leaving back the... If we play the Triton and the Sable, then they're sort of okay blockers for a yeah. couple of turns. All right, let's see if he does have anything. I didn't think so, he's not blocked, and he just takes 8. Nice. And goes to 10. Yes. And fingers crossed he's not just going to do something ridiculous and kill us from 10 next turn. This um, does happen in this format, but normally it involves um, double strike if creatures. If he doesn't kill us from 10, I think we win next turn, because we see God's Revenge. Yeah, next turn. Minotaur does 4, the Cerberus is doing at least oh, well, 6. He, he can be on 11. Oh yes. So, actually not quite. Well, if he, if he just stays back to block with this, then he is actually still dead. He looks pretty Very dead. Very much still dead if he does nothing. Okay. Okay, he's got one card. I mean, we could even go for the, the slower option and play this Crackling Triton and sacrifice it to kill the Hopeful Eidolon. And then he dies. Um, or do we just use this Sea God's Revenge? I think we use this Sea God's Revenge because if, if we don't kill him, we'll at least slow him down. Yeah, I think that's, just... that's fine. Let's see what's revenge, you guys. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's up too, so. Yep. Like that? You like that. And. Um, scry one, I will um, put on top of library. That seems good. I got confused when that appeared. I'm like, what's that? Is that in yeah. his hand? No, it's the Scry One from the Sea God's Revenge, but completely useless Scry One from Sea God's Revenge because most of the time you just win the game when you cast Sea God's Revenge. Like and that. we win. Turn seven. That's pretty quick, actually. That's not bad. So let's have a look at our sideboard. I didn't see anything. I mean, I'm going to be honest, our sideboard in this deck is not that powerful. Not amazing. We saw Guy, which Scry. We saw a single white land. 
So yeah. do we want the second wild celebrant? Oh, it doesn't do land. It doesn't do Thinking land. Demolisher. Oh, no, if this did land, I would play it. like Every time. Well, yeah, I think I would play that every time. A 5 mana 5 through it destroyed the land. Land destruction is not worth a card, but as a, a end of a battlefield ability, I'd play it. Um, so... I don't really think I need anything. Uh, Lost in the Labyrinth actually is quite good at getting rid of his um, his flame speaker because if he only scries once, it knocks it down to one power. And we can kill that. So I think actually we'll put that in and um, we can take out something. Should we just take out our Bronze Sable? It's probably yeah. the weakest card in our deck for the most part. Yeah. I'm happy with the ordeals in our deck because his deck wasn't completely loaded with removal spells. Um, yeah. All right. And, and we'll see you for the next game.